YouTube, JoJo3102 here, and I have another video for you today. And what I have here is a brand new unboxing. Um, some knives I ordered, <coughs> and this is going to be a mega unboxing. There are a bunch of knives in here that I ordered. Um, this is from, let's see, picked that up. From CSI, which is Cutlery Shop Inc. Um, one of my other sort of unboxing videos I did, I showed you some stuff I got from Cutlery Shop. Uh, so I went ahead and made a second order with them. This time it took about a week. I made this order on Sunday, this past Sunday. Today is Friday, and so it took about a week to get here. Um, knives that are in here are... Anywhere from low end to high end knives, and I pulled the trigger on a bunch of knives this week. Um, yeah, a really big trigger, actually, when you see them. Um, and they range from stuff I wanted to finish out a collection, like a series of knives. Um, I wanted to finish out those. Some were sort of the Spider Go has a way of putting out a knife, um, letting it do a first run, and then you won't see it again. Okay, and then some were just ones I really wanted to try out, wanted to get my hands on them, uh, and go on from that. Um, I'm not going to go through the prices of everything with you for this, but I will tell you, um, when you see it, uh, I will tell you that for the knives that are in here, for all, there's 11, I'll tell you that, 11 of them. Uh, for all 11, I paid what some people pay for one, like, Strider, or for Henderer, or for one... Uh, Sbenzo, which is cool, and that's what they do, and that's fine for them, but, you know, I decided to spread it out over a couple things, okay? So we're going to go ahead and break this open. Uh, I'm going to show you what the knives are first, you know, which so lets you see them, and then I'm going to go back and uh, take a look at all of them one at a time, okay? First impressions kind of thing. Uh, so hopefully it won't be too long, uh, but we're just going to go ahead and break into this. Um, oh, I was telling you about the prices for this. Everything here was 40%, 46% less than what you can buy it from Spyderco. Okay, so when I looked up what these knives on Spyderco, they're one price from Cutlery Shop, they're about 46% less. So, again, just another plug. I'm not getting paid by them, anything like that, but just a really good place to go check out to pick up some knives. Um, plus, they had these in stock. A lot of places I checked didn't have these particular knives in stock. They were out of stock on a lot of this stuff. Uh, but Cutlery Shop had them in, and they were getting more orders. So, All right, so let's break this bad boy open. What we're going to be using to open this is a CRKT... Thunderbolt. Okay. Haven't shown you this one before. I uh, picked this up about a month or two ago. Uh, I'm going to have a review on this knife coming out pretty soon. So let's go ahead and break into this. Right. See what's the best way to get this. So I'll start here. Well, and as you can see, it is a Tonto point, which I am using to open up this box here. Try to get a frame. All right. There we are. Okay, so before I go any further, while you're looking here, um, take a few minutes. I'll play a quick game. Uh, no prizes, just for fun. See if you guys can guess. See if you guys can guess what knife, knives or knives it might have in there, okay? Um, if you watch a couple of my videos on my channel, what I like, you might be able to guess it. Uh, so just take a few minutes. Think about what one or two of them might be. Write it in the comments below, okay? So go ahead and do that, and we'll give you a few minutes. Do, 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 do. You got it? You figured it out? Okay, we'll go ahead and write it down there. And we're going to go ahead and show you what's in the box. Okay? 
So again, they do use the flat rate boxes. This is a medium sized box. First thing is a spider code catalog that they send you. Okay, and this is a big size one. Other ones I've gotten in the past have been the half size. Uh, oh, those are pretty cool. You get a better look at the knives that are in there. Okay. All right, so there it is, and that's their name, Cutlery Shop. There's their phone number and their website. All right, so that's the first thing. They did order it. They send you that with it. And, of course, a bunch of packing peanuts. We all hate packing peanuts. All right, so here we go. First thing first. You can guess yet? You still got a little time. See if you guess what this is. Okay. All right. Here's the first section. Did you guess yet? Spider Co. Okay. So one, two, three, four Spider Co's, and. Ontario knife. Can you guess what that is? Anybody think they know what this one is? This is one you should have in your collection. I finally got it. Okay, so there's those. But guess what? We're not done yet. We have another little package. Hang on. I'm trying to keep as many of these packing peanuts in the box as I can so I don't have a big mess to clean up after this. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'll wrap it here. There's your cards. A few more cards they sent. Oh, they sent me that? Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright. Um, that's pretty cool. I did not order this, but they put this in the package. I guess that was for, uh, for ordering it. That's pretty cool. I wanted another one this size. This is number three, so that's pretty cool. They sent me that. Okay, and what else do we have in the box? Oh. We have one spider co, two spider co's, three spider co's, four, five, and six. Six more spider co's that work. Okay, let's just double check. Pretty sure that is everything in the box. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So those that's my order right there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven blades I ordered. Okay. Like I said, I pulled the trigger. Pulled a really big trigger uh, on this order. Uh, but I'm going to go through and show you why I did it and exactly what I got. Okay. Um, all right, let's move these out of the way. We'll start with smallest first. Okay. Oh, crap. All right, so we'll start with these small guys first. All right. First one we have here is, see if you can pick that up. Hello. Hello. Is the ladybug okay? Pick the ladybug up in all stainless steel. Okay, now if you saw a couple of my other videos, now that's really nice. Okay, stainless steel ladybug. Um, I have the bug, uh, the honeybee, the cricket, um, and the kiwi. So I decided to go ahead and finish out the collection of like bug series knives small stainless steel knives uh, from Spyderco. Okay, so that's the ladybug there. That's the first one. Alright. Go ahead and put that away. Alright, then the second one is oh, second one is can you see that? The dragonfly. Again, small Stainless steel 
in that little line. This is a really nice looking knife. Okay, first time holding a dragonfly. Add it to the collection. Look at that, that nice, nice blade shape there. Really nice in the hand. Nice pocket clip. Okay, all these will get their own reviews. These are just kind of a first look. I want to show you guys what I picked up. Okay, so that's the dragonfly. Got to try and move this along a little bit. The next one. This is a John Wayne Colt 45 favorite. That is the Cricket. Okay. Uh, I've heard John Wayne talk a lot about this knife. Other people talk a lot about it. Uh, I think the Roxy Stars talked about how she loves it. Um, again, went ahead, pulled the trigger. This is the stainless steel version. Okay. Wow, that is a really nice blade there. Okay, has a little plastic on there to keep it protected. Okay. Spider clip. Very nice knife. Okay, wait, I got one more small one that I dropped here. And this is to finish out a collection, another one to finish out a collection. Um, see if you can see that. This thing doesn't want to cooperate today. But this is the Ambitious. Okay, to finally finish out that value line from Spider Co., the Tenacious, Resilience. And the persistence, and now added in the ambitious. Okay, so it has some of that factory oil on it. Very nice, small little guy, small guy. Okay, very nice. So that's the ambitious. All right, moving on, continuing on here, moving on to some of the bigger knives. Okay, that I picked up. We have. Did you guess what this one was? You know what that is? You know what that one is? That is the Ontario Knife Company Rat One Folder. That is beautiful. Look at that bad boy. Okay. Very nice looking blade. Okay. I got it in the all in the black handle. With the black blade, okay, no serration, so plain edge. Went with that, okay. Mr. Uh, Mr. Tactical Six String out there, if you're watching this, um, I might be contacting you, might contact you, get a little dirt coat job on this if you don't mind, change that up a little bit, okay. And if you haven't watched Tactical Six String's video on his dirt coat job on his right one, Go check it out. Okay, so might be calling you soon, bud. Alright? So there's the rat one. Alright, moving on to the bigger spider codes. Alright, what do we got here? So I went ahead. This is one that I picked up because I heard a lot of great reviews on it. Um, at Peace Peace has this particular knife. He has it in blue. Uh, nothing fancy he's done a view a review on this knife. And that is the Spyderco Stretch. Okay. Picked this up. Uh, decided to go ahead. This has the FRN handles on it. Uh, in the black. Okay. Picked this up. Just because this is one of those knives that Spyderco will have around for a while. They'll pull it off the shelves after a run. And you may not see it again. Okay. It is made in Seki City, Japan. Um, it is the VG10 version of the knife okay uh, full flat ground very nice blade really liking this okay so the stretch by Spyderco uh, so like I said that's I picked that up that like I said they sometimes this may be gone um, and like I said it was in in stock picked it up all right moving on the next one uh, let's see I'm trying to show you in a particular order really all right, here we go uh, again, I'd seen this on a couple videos, wasn't sure what I thought of it, um, watched a nothing fancy video where he had reviewed it, uh, and it is yeah, the Cali 3, or Cali 3.5 I should say, I'm sorry, okay, 
Very nice knife. A, lot, a little bit smaller than I was expecting. Um, still has some of that. Yeah, I gotta clean that up. Has some of that gunk on there from the oil from uh, shipping and everything, but nothing that can't be cleaned up. Very nice looking blade though. Very classy. Has a uh, has a wire clip. Um, a little like I said, a little smaller than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be a little bit longer, a little bit bigger, but it's cool. It has a lock back here. Okay, so there it is, the Spyderco Cali 3.5. Okay, I hope you guys can all see this. Alright. Alright. Next one. We're almost done, people. Hang in there. I know you spider code junkies are loving it. Um, sorry I'm going a little slow. I'm just trying to make sure I get everything that I wanted to show you. Um, this next one I picked up. I was really curious to see how this went. Um, I saw Cutlery Lover's review on this steel for his... Um, his mini ladybug that had this, um, and I went ahead and picked it up, which is the Pacific Salt H1 steel in all black with the black blade, black handle, all blacked out. This is really nice. This is this this one is actually a lot bigger than what I thought it was. I thought this was going to be a little bit smaller knife, um, but it has the black coated on the blade on the pocket clip. Um, really nice looking blade there. Hang on. I'm sitting down there for a second. Okay, so there's the H1 Spider Co. Again, it has the junk on it from where it's shipped. Uh, I just gotta go and clean that up a little bit, but review to come on all these knives. FRN handles, very nice. I might carry this at work, check that out. See how it works. Okay, so Pacific Salt H1 Steel. Alright, almost done, people. Alright, the next one, this one I just wanted to try. Um, Cajun Blaze has this knife. Um, I mean, you name people, everybody's got this knife. John Wayne Cold Cord 5, nothing fancy. A lot of people have this knife. I was really curious to check it out because I really wanted to see how well it works. And it is the Paramilitary 2. Okay. Look at that. JoJo's got a milli. JoJo's got a milli. Okay, maybe not a full military, but it is paramilitary, okay? In the G10 handles, this is one with the black coated blade. Okay. Locks back here. Oh, that's nice. Still a little stiff. Ooh, that is... Alright, takes a little getting used to, but that is very nice. Okay, so there it is, paramilitary. I got this, like I said, I really wanted to try out one of the militaries, um, or paramilitary, and uh, I went with that. There it is, the Golden Colorado stamp, USA Earth, Spyderco CMP S30V steel. Alright, so very nice, very nice, paramilitary too. Alright. Now the next two are, I believe they're part of uh, Spyderco's ethnic line. Uh, hopefully this whole video will make it uh, part of their ethnic line. Um, and again, these are ones that, you know, might not be there come next year. So just went ahead, pulled the trigger, and added them into the collection. Uh, the first one is the large size Bob Lum Chinese. Ooh, that is a beautiful looking blade. Okay, G10 handles. Look at that blade shape there. Hey, there I am in the camera. Okay. Spyderco VG10 steel. Okay, Seki City, Japan. Okay. Alright, so that's the large size Bob Lum Chinese folder. And then the last one picked up was the large, yeah, I think that's the large, yeah, the large Persian, okay, the Persian 2, okay, 
Nice upswept blade, lots of belly. Spider Co. VG10. Made in Japan. Nice. Has a really nice lock when you hold your hand on it, okay? Hand locks and they're really nice. Not with any jib, no jibbing up here, but with this handle shape, you're not going anywhere. Okay, so that's the Persian. Persian 2. Okay? Lock back. Very sweet blade. Nice. Nice size uh, lanyard hole, too. Okay? So that's it. That's what I got. Okay? So those are my knives. Reviews to come on everything in the near future. Just keep an eye out. Um, you'll be seeing some knives. I got a lot of other knives to review as well. Uh, but you'll be seeing these uh, coming in pretty soon. Alright, so thank you YouTube. As always, it's been a great pleasure. Um, thank you and peace.